Good morning, welcome to the ADS Securities Markets Update. Today we'll start our video with a look at the situation in Japan. The economy slides back into a triple depreciation session despite the fact that the economist's estimates were quite positive to show an annual growth of 2.2%. However, the economy shrank by 1.6% on a year-over-year -year basis. The triple depreciation session in Japan is also not surprising for us as ADS Securities warned about this recession back in November and also noted uh, back sorry in, in April and noted this a few days ago in the national newspaper here in the UAE on the 11th of November of this year that the economy will slide back into a recession despite all the stimulus packages by the Bank of Japan. As a result, there, is, uh, or there are some rumors right now that the Prime Minister will announce a snap election, a snap election on, uh, in December or the 14th of December of this year. Furthermore, the Prime Minister also instructed his, gov his government uh, to prepare for a new measures to stimulate the economy. As for the Asian session today, the RBA uh, meeting minutes came in uh, unchanged or with no uh, big changes comparing to previous meeting. However, the bank also reiterated that the Aussie remains higher comparing to the fundamentals and the historical standards. As for the European session today, we'll be focusing on a collection of economic releases from the UK, Germany and the Eurozone, which is likely to have a notable impact across the session. Beginning with the UK, all eyes are headed to today toward the inflation figures. The year-over-year -year CPI is expected to remain stable at 1.2% in October, which remains the lowest rating since November of 2009. However, the core CPI may rise slightly toward 1.6% in October up from 1.5% in September, which would be also the highest reading in two months. However, the or furthermore, the uh, UK house price index may, uh, may edge higher toward 12.1% in September comparing to 117 in August, which would be also the highest reading since September of 2007. In Germany, the ZEW economic sentiment will be, or will be released today. The estimates are to rise above the zero barrier again toward 0.9% in November after the index decline toward a nine or a to a minus 3.6%, uh, which was the lowest level since December or since September of 2013. Finally, the Eurozone uh, ZEW economic sentiment may, may rise slightly toward 4.3% in November, up from 4.1% in October. Going forward to the U.S. session uh, today, we will be focusing also on three economic releases, which may come in also with another disappointment following the unexpected decline in the industrial production yesterday. The PPI is expected to decline by 0.1% in October, compared to another decline of the same rate in September, which would be the second monthly decline in a row. However, the core CPI may rise slightly, or the core PPI, sorry, may rise slightly by 0.2% in October, comparing to no growth in September, which would be the highest in two months, or since, sorry, since July. Uh, finally, the NAHB housing market index may rise slightly toward 55 in November, up from 54 in October. This is it for today. You can follow us on our social media sites, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, to get the latest economic releases, reports, and analysis. Thank you for watching.